Hi, it's your girl Vivica Fox. And Geraldo Rivera. We're from Celebrity Apprentice. Join the synergy. Yeah, I, I, I complained about Sean checking out on me, so I got a little bit of, Vivica, don't you do that. Uh, but it's okay. But, you know, I just have learned to be successful on Celebrity Apprentice this season for me, that it was important for me to know my place, play my position, and stay in my lane. I knew when to give it, and then I knew when to just get out of the way. <laughs> but she does. If you think that you haven't seen Vivica in terms of that passionate, explosive moment, wait, wait. It's coming. It's coming soon. We got <laughs> a lot of wonderful built. drama that's going to unfold, and and, and that's what and we've been saying with uh, with all a of the ma a major role, a with, central with, role with all the with all the the interviews today. And everyone's going, why? Why do you think that uh, Celebrity Apprentice is so successful this year? We said it's because it's like a beautiful business soap opera unfolding. It's not scripted. It's not forced. It's just wonderful, and and they're really enjoying it. There's a new generation and a whole new audience that are like, I've never watched it before but now I'm glued I'm I'm glued I think that there was a lack of I mean just from my point of view obviously they have their point of view which is different than mine they went into this believing that I was you know from a generation whose time had come and gone and that they could Run exercise a kind of uh, willful neglect when it came to me. And he is not to be trifled with. Is that the word you use? That's a good I word. I love that word. I was like, he, they, he uses great words. And so uh, there, there, there was and there will be some major smackdowns that I, I think that uh, will be unique in terms of their realism and their reality, their real reality. Not, a lot of reality shows are scripted you know pretty much where they're going to be, who the good guy is, who the bad guy is. Not this one. Not this this one. was spontaneous and combustion. Yeah. That's a great question. I, I was kind of, you know, I'd done almost everything. I had a daytime talk show. I've been Good Morning America, 2020, Fox News, okay. war correspondent for many years. I've done so much uh, that it was on my bucket list. I'd never done a reality show. I wanted very much to do one. I wasn't sure what it was going to be. I didn't want to do celebrity, I mean, Dancing with the Stars, because I didn't want to have an affair with the dance instructor. He just couldn't control <laughs> himself with that less of material <laughs> covering that, somebody. Yeah, no, Her grinding up on you. Naked girls yeah, kicking their... couldn't do it. Feet, and for that, me, I just wanted to be taken out of my comfort zone. I wanted to show my fans and the world that I had a good business sense and I and that I could I could do it. And she really does. And we did it. Yeah. Joan Rivers, awesome. We were all starstruck when she came out and we were all very sad and disappointed when she passed away. When she passed away, unfortunately, way too young and tragically. And it was just awful that she looked so good, so yeah. feisty, so we, energetic. Yeah, we had just worked And then with a her. couple of weeks later, she, she was, was dead gone. because yeah. of negligence and uh, just, we'll it, was, it was awful, just yeah. awful. But I'm going to say I threw a party this past Monday for Celebrity Apprentice, and when they show the previews for the next week, everybody in the room piped up. There she is. So, ja Joan, where She's still alive. You're still alive, and we love you. And you're still getting ratings, girl. Uh -huh. Still doing it. <laughs>